So now we're ready to do our emboss. We need to start transferring our pattern. Again, we're using the wood block because it holds enough room for our grommet. We know that our grommet will fit easily and we'll have enough leather on either side to support any of the uh, lacing and tying that's going to occur on the vegetable tan leather. So we want to make sure that we have that border, which we do. That's what our wood block is for. And so I'm going to just place it at the edge of my leather, like so. And then rather than use the Sharpie itself, we're going to gently spritz. If you do not have a sprayer, it's okay to use a sponge. It's actually a little less messy if you use a sponge. And you can soak just the area you're planning on embossing. You can soak the whole thing, that's fine. Um, but as you're going to do your design work, you'll realize it dries out. And so I only bother to soak the area that I'm intending to emboss first. And then as you work around, you add a little more and finish the perimeter. So here we are, we've got our straight line. I'm just using the back of my Sharpie pen. And remember the thickness of your pen is going to limit where your emboss step is. So this, this line is going to be slightly wider than the thickness of our wood block. And that's okay. I'm just trying to get a nice clean line to follow here. And then generally what I'll do when I get to the corners is I'll put a gentle indicator of where that chamfer, that radius starts to form. And then your human brain's really good at joining this shallow divot that I made and this long clean line. So you can just make that up by hand and it will look fairly nice. So we've got a good perimeter there. And we're going to do the same thing over here, looking for where that chamfer is going to start. So I've just got a little indicator right there. And then I'm going to finish out the line. And then we're going to go to our back perimeter. Like so. Make sure that everything fits where we can see it. And then with the back of the Sharpie again, just draw that perimeter in. Nice, clean, straight line. Let the board do the work for you. Don't fight trying to make it perfectly straight. Just know that the board's going to do all the hard work for you. And as you press that Sharpie mark in, you'll get the perimeter that you want without having to work too hard. So again, we're marking that, that radius. I'm going to smooth that out manually and then come back in with our straight line on the perimeter. We have to wet the whole material again. You can see how quickly it'll absorb the water and you also see how quickly it uh, dries out again. So when it's freshly wet, it's going to do a little of both pretty quickly. But once it's soaking wet, it's really hard to get anything else done that you want. Okay. Lining everything up, making sure we can do everything we need. And so it really depends on what you prefer most. Sometimes it's easier to draw all your side borders with the straight edge first and then connect the corners. Or you can work your way around from one to the other. But the hard part is getting that offset so it's nice and uniform so you've got something to follow. And you know you're getting exactly what you desire. So that's why I like freehanding the last bit, really blending those borders the way I had intended them to look. And remember, you're pressing pretty hard, so this may take a couple of passes with the pen, but that's okay. It'll give you everything you need. And I believe we'll probably switch the camera angle to a little more close up. So for the rest of this, you can see um, it looks like We've got our border done exactly the way we need. 
And now we can start talking about how we're going to do our armor placement components and put the indicators for that. Okay. So uh, we'll call this done and we'll zoom in for the next one.